Hey, well, I did say that I'd make this video when I get 30 likes on the Composite Ben Tennyson video, and here we are. So, just like the Composite Ben video, I'll be discussing all versions of Vilgax and how powerful all of them are. Just in case you don't know, a Composite character is every version of one character into one. So, for my Composite Ben 10 video, I covered all the versions of Ben from OS Ben to Omniverse Ben to Reboot Ben to Ben 10K to Eon. And then Composite Ben will be able to do everything that all those versions of Ben can do. So it's like a Ben Tennyson with the Ultimatrix, the Omniverse Omnitrix, the Biomatrix, all that all in one. Which is crazy. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing for Vilgax. To prevent this video from being anywhere near as long as the Composite Ben video, which was over an hour long, I'll be splitting this video into five parts. Each part will discuss all the Vilgaxes from each series, however when I finish releasing all five parts, I'll make a, a video combining them all into one video, if anyone prefers to watch that instead. So for this part I'll be discussing all the versions of Vilgax that we saw in the original series. This includes Base Vilgax, Cyborg Vilgax, and Future Vilgax. The first version of Vilgax I'll be talking about is Base Vilgax, since it's the first Vilgax that we see in the series. Before I get started, I just want to say that I haven't made a video in as long as I would usually do because I was kind of lazy, I couldn't bother to make a video. And then I was going to work on a Ben 10 Multiverse video, which explains the multiverse, but then I was like, no, I want to do top 10 characters in Ben 10, like power scaling wise. So not just including Ben's aliens, but like characters, so like Vizona, Malchu and characters like that. But the script that I made was a mess, so I scrapped it, and I'm working on this instead. I will work on a Ben 10 Multiverse video at some point, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the top 10 characters. I think I'm just not going to go back to that. Or whatever. Back to the video. I'm talking about base Vilgax. So this version of Vilgax appeared in, and then there were 10, The Alliance, Truth, the start of then there was Ben and the New Dawn. So I'll be talking about versions of Vilgax from Omniverse, but they it's the same version of Vilgax that we um, that it's still base Vilgax. So the version of base Vilgax we see in the original series and in Omniverse should be capable of the same things. So let's start off with the Alliance. I'm not talking about and then there was ten because there isn't really anything crazy that happens in that episode. Scale Vilgax. But in the Alliance, we see that he's able to talk telepathically with Rojo through his drones after Rojo murdered them. And then he's also able to do the same thing for Ben when he was with, as upgrade and merged with Rojo. So I just wanted to bring this up. It's not really that useful of an ability. It's really specific, really situational. Like, Vilgax is only able to talk through his drones, that's not really going to have much play. But I thought it was worth mentioning. And then, in truth, Vilgax, we see Vilgax with his drones, I think this is a good time to bring up Vilgax's drones. And they follow him around, and they use to either hack things or shoot lasers. And Vilgax uses these drones as, like, bodyguards, sort of. You can have, like, eight of them at once, like in Secrets. Though the problem with these drones is they're not very durable, as we saw a ten-year-old Gwen was able to destroy one by smacking it with a shovel. Though getting up to the, into the reason why Vilgax has been attached to a nuclear missile which launched at his ship and exploded. So the nuclear missile exploded while Vilgax was point-blank range and he was fine. So that's pretty impressive. That's a durability feed right there. The issue with this, though, however, is we don't know what condition Vilgax was in after the missile exploded. For all we know, Vilgax could have needed cybernetic enhancements or needed time to heal, or he could have been completely fine, because we don't see him after this. We don't see his condition. However, I'm doubtful that Vilgax survived this attack unscathed, considering the first episode Vilgax was blown into pieces by an attack that only destroyed a, a small portion of his ship. Granted, we don't know how powerful the beam fired by his alien ship was, and the beam was also a lot more concentrated than the nuclear explosion. And then there was Ben. 
nothing really happened that was different from, and then there were ten, so I would have nothing really to talk about. But in a new dawn, Vilgax had an energy blade that he used to fight with. Though that's not really very noteworthy, and we saw present Vilgax using an energy sword anyways in Omniverse, so it's whatever. That's all for base Vilgax. We didn't see much of him, so there's not really much for him to cover about him. Though, we did get a durability feat from him, which is cool. So the next version of Vilgax I'll be talking about is Cybernetically Enhanced Vilgax. And in the first Vil in the first time we see Cybernetic Vilgax is in Secrets, which is the Season 1 finale. And in this episode he's just crazy. He's able to tank attacks from Heat Blast, Accelerate and Dam Head like they're nothing. He was able to throw Heat Blast through multiple buildings, defeat Accelerate just by letting Accelerate run into him, and was able to crack Diamond Head by slamming him against the ground. He was able to jump higher than the Skyscraper, and then and the force of him landing was able was enough to flatten buildings. Thanks to the cybernetic enhancements, Vilgax can also strengthen his muscles, making him even stronger than he already is. The feat showcased from Vilgax after strengthening his muscles was destroying one of the faces of Mount Rushmore after, by slamming his fist down on it. In Vilgax's second appearance in Back with a Vengeance, he was fighting against Mutated Kevin and putting up a pretty even fight against him. Mutated Kevin being shown to be able to beat the crap out of Forearms in his debut, Forearms being Ben's strongest alien at the time, capable of creating shockwaves big enough to harm a monster hundreds of times its size just by clapping his hands together, which is, which is nuts. And so, Cyborg Vilgax was able to give us some AP feats, whereas Base Vilgax gave us the durability feats. Cyborg Vilgax does have two durability feats, however, but I don't think they're as noteworthy as Base Vilgax's durability feat. Cyborg Vilgax's durability feat is surviving the self-destruction of his ship whilst inside it, which, don't get me wrong, is really impressive, but I don't think it's as impressive as surviving a nuclear explosion. And the second feat is him surviving a bomb blowing up while he was holding it, which is even less impressive than the first feat, considering the size and of the bomb and the explosion. Now for the final version of Vilgax that I'm going to be talking about in this video, Future Vilgax. Future Vilgax isn't cybernetically enhanced like his past self, but despite that, it still looks really strong. If not stronger than Cyborg Vilgax, just with parents alone. However, Future Vilgax had his DNA had his DNA modified by Amnimo, giving him genetic implant weapons and bio-boosters, which I assume is what's going on with this Vilgax's left hand, left arm. The genetic implant weapons that we see Vilgax use is a retractable tentacle, which we see is used to grab a hold of President Bennett's cannon bolt and pull him in, and was used against Stinkfly to fling him around. So, so it's just used as a rope, pretty much. And then there's the organic bombs, which were able to take out Accelerate. And Vilgax was able to fire out loads of these bombs in short succession. Vilgax's punches are also able to be electricity and ham amplified. Future Vilgax was able to fight two versions of Ben at the same time, one from the present and one from the past. As well as this, Vilgax was stated to be to have knowledge on all of Ben Tenkei's aliens and their abilities. Ben Tenkei having access to over a million aliens, so that's something. This was downloaded into his DNA, allowing him to predict Ben's next moves instinctively, which is crazy. Though, future Vilgax lost because he didn't expect Ben to turn into his human form, as he hadn't done so for years. Unlike base form Vilgax, future Vilgax didn't have any durability feats to offer, and he didn't have any AP feats to offer either. However, future Vilgax has the abilities that are very noteworthy. So to summarise, in OS, the original series, Vilgax was shown to be able to survive nuclear explosions at point blank range, create a path of destruction, and fight against ca characters who can overpower Ben's strongest alien. And then future Vilgax's knowledge on all of Ben Tenkei's aliens can predict anything Ben does and has biological enhancements. So, that's all for the OS versions of Vilgax. This video is way shorter than I expected, to be honest, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And so, in the next video, I'll be talking about the Ultimate Alien Force versions of Vilgax. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you'll stuck around for the next parts. Bye.